Hey, welcome back to another edition of Babyface Brew Review. My name is Alex. I'll be guiding you guys and gals through this review for the next couple minutes here today. Um, we have a really special beer here today in terms of new releases. This is Unfiltered Sculpin. Um, by Ballast Point Brewing Company out of San Diego, California. Uh, recently, I mean not recently, but in the last couple of years, acquired by Constellation Brands, so no longer um, qualifying them as a craft brewery. But regardless of the fact, they make some awesome, awesome beer. Sculpin, Pineapple Sculpin, uh, Grapefruit Sculpin, Habanero, Habanero Sculpin, excuse me, are all different variations of this beer, and they're adding another one to the lineup by unfiltering it. Um, Ballast Point also makes some other really good beers, but that's a discussion for another day. This beer, super fresh, uh, as fresh as I can recall getting Sculpin being up here in the Northwest. This is a couple weeks old. Uh, Julian Code is always stamped in yellow on the bottom. Uh, it's got 94 on it, which is uh, the 4th of April. Today's date is 420. Um, so just a couple weeks old there. Um, there's no composite rating from Rate Beer, or excuse me, there's no, um, there's not that many ratings out there today, but what there is, uh, is there is some stuff out there. Beer Advocate gives it an 89% from the 40 so reviews there, putting in that very good category, which is actually significantly lower than Sculpin, Grapefruit Sculpin, and even Pineapple Sculpin. I'm not sure about Habanero Sculpin, but anyway, Beer Advocate gives it, or Rape Beer, excuse me, gives it a 94 overall and a 95 in the style. The folks at Untapped, uh, who use that app, um, it's got it at 4.0 caps, which is very, very solid. Anything in that 4.0 range uh, in my book is going to be a pretty solid beer. Um, if you're looking to add me on on tap, my username is Wizard of Mraz, and that's M-R-O-Z. Okay, so ABV, 7% alcohol by volume. IBU is actually 68. Uh, all the other Sculpin variations are 70, so a little less bitter um, by two points. We'll see how that plays out. Generally, when they unfilter it, it becomes uh, a little less uh, bitter. But anyway, let's uh, crack this cap and see what's going on here in the unfiltered Sculpin by Ballast Point Brewing Company. Uh, they've got some food pairings on their website. It's Mandarin uh, Orange and Chicken Asian Salad, a prosciutto wrapped in scallops, salmon glazed with brown sugar and mustard. If you're into food pairings with beer, it's on their website there. It's available in 12 ounce bottles and on draft where you can find Ballast Point beer. Really excited to see what this looks like. A little bit of an aggressive pour, not terrible. Um, two and a half finger width of head, just kind of like off-white eggshell color, very, very tightly compact bubbles as I swirl it around there, see if we get any glass lacing or alcohol legs. We'll get a touch of glass lacing. It's spotty for right now, but as this drinks down, I'm sure we'll get some nice rings on it. Um, it is unfiltered. Uh, the video quality is not doing it justice, but it really isn't as unfiltered as I expect it to be. It's not a haze juice bomb like a New England IPA or even some other West Coast unfiltered uh, IPAs that you might see. Obviously, New England is uh, known for what they've been doing up there, making it hazy, probably this following the trend. But really, actually, there is some clarity to this. It's pouring kind of like a um, very golden straw, amberish like color, very golden rustic color is what I would call it. This carbonation is crazy. Now, this is a nucleated glass, which is bellowing out of the bottom of the glass. It looks like a really, really awesome beer, and I can tell you it smells smells really nice. So let's get into aroma on this. Yeah, just like a tropical fruit basket, like big tropical juice notes, uh, pineapple, mango, papaya. I'm getting some ripe citrus qualities to it as well, like some citrus peels, some grapefruit, but definitely the... Um, the, the tropical fruit is more prevalent there. Some apricot, almost like a candied peach, kind of like a uh, tart, a tartness as well. Minimal malt. This is really, I mean, they say on here that it's extra hopped up, so I don't know if that's, if they've hopped it up more than Sculpin, obviously. The other variations, that name would imply it. But yeah, it smells really, really nice. Kind of like a crackery, biscuity, malt base. Yeah, it's nice. It smells resiny too. All right, guys and gals, cheers, prost. Um, let's dive into the Ballast Point Unfiltered Sculpin.
yeah, it's nice. You actually, you do get a big smack of bitterness up front. Um, this fruity bitterness. You get some of those tropical notes come out. Um, pineapple, mango, papaya, apricot. You're getting a little bit of some grapefruit notes in there as well. Some like citrus zest. Middle of the mouth, you get that graham crackery, biscuity, like sweetness to it. And then on the back end, you get this like really grassy, piney, um, lingering bitterness. There's some citrus notes as well, but I really noticed like this grassy, piney thing going on. Um, there's some pithy bitterness to it um, a as well. Definitely uh, apricot and peach, excuse me, on the front end there, um, circling back on that. It's nice. It's very drinkable. Alcohol, 7%, very, very well hidden as well. Getting into the mouthfeel, it's kind of a medium to light body. It has a touch of a thinness to it, and I won't throw it under the bus like being completely thin, but there is a little bit of a thinness to it. And there also is this like, kind of like this chalky mouthfeel, in my opinion, kind of coating the palate, this chalky, like pithy bitterness um, that is totally coating your tongue. Um, and it's interesting. You could definitely feel that, that 68 IBUs hanging out. Uh, meat, carbonation is medium. Um, it, it's spot on for the style. Uh, you definitely have a nice drinkability in this beer. Um, there's a cool oily chalkiness thing going on, co coating the palate, like I said. As for a grade from me, I'm going to give it a 91. I think it's an A minus beer. It's very, very solid. I feel like I prefer like the regular Sculpin or Grapefruit Sculpin over this. The unfilteredness really doesn't add too much in terms of the body or the softness of it. I was actually kind of thrown off by that. Um, but it is a very solid beer. It's very, very drinkable. So 91 for me. Let me know what you guys and gals think out there. Uh, please leave those comments below. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for subscribing and tuning in. Um, I say it every time, and I, and I really do mean it. So if you leave that all down there, we'll go back and forth on the dialogue. Uh, but until next time, cheers, Prost. We'll see you all next time on Babyface Brew Review.